This is a quick demo showing how to use voice memos for spontaneous or planned recordings on the iPhone. The iPhone comes with, as one of the default apps, is voice memos. In my case, it's in my utilities folder. It may be loose on your computer or on your iPhone. Simply tap voice memos. Here's a listing of different recordings I have on here. And tap the circle, red circle, to start recording. Okay, this is Sheila Finkelstein. Technology for Seniors Made Easy, doing a test. I'm tapping on the red square now in the center, pausing it. I can play the arrow. Okay, this is Sheila Finkelstein. Technology for Seniors Made Easy, doing a test. I'm tapping on the red square now. And that was it. I can say done, or if I want to continue recording, I'm continuing the recording simply by pressing on the red circle. Now I'm stopping again, red square. I can listen to the whole okay, thing. This is Sheila Finkelstein. Technology for Seniors Made Easy, doing a test. I'm tapping on the red square now. I'm continuing the recording simply by pressing pressing on the red circle. Now I'm stopping again. And this time I'm tapping done. Now I have a choice to save or delete. You can just save it as a new recording and come back and um, another time and change or add the title or just do a title now and save. And it's simple as all that. I'm now in here. I can play it again by the triangle. Okay, this is Sheila Finkelstein. Technology Close person. it with the lines. I can actually send it to someone using the share. And for now, and I'll go into another thing, I would send it to Dropbox. I have Dropbox sent up so that I can record and share it with other family members. For now, going a little bit beyond. Okay, edit means I could go back. Oh, actually, I guess I can go back and um, I thought edit was here, done. Okay, we're finished, that's it. Sheila Nicholstein, Technology for Seniors Made Easy. Hope you find this helpful.